Today, I'm gonna take my 45 Magnum and blow a couple holes into my laptop because this power jack broke, which is an extremely common problem for almost any brand of laptop. I'm sure you know this already. I'm sure you're, you're probably staring at yours right now. Yep. Anyway, I'm gonna be working on my Acer, but you can follow along and fix practically any type of laptop this way. Let me grab my gun, aka soldering iron, and a screwdriver, and I'll show you that even you can break your own laptop. What did he say? Just kidding. Now even you can fix your own laptop at home using this guide. I'm not trying to be sarcastic, I'm trying to be... Yeah, actually I'm trying to be sarcastic. My bad. Anyways, let's get started. Alright, so every laptop pretty much has 9,000 screws on the back of it, and guess what? You gotta unscrew all of them. So I recommend taking a photo, uh, better yet, you should maybe you should even take a little video because sometimes the screws are different sizes and it always helps to know where each little screw goes at the end of the day when you put your laptop back together hopefully. <laughs> Every laptop also has a quick release panel which is a couple screws and then you have access to like your hard drives, your memory, your video card, um, even your laptop cooling system. So I just pulled mine off and you can see two hard drives. There's a SSD hard drive in there on the left, by the way, which will dramatically change how fast your laptop is. I mean, it's like a night and day difference. Just pop in the SSD hard drive Holy and moly. trust me, your laptop will be a whole new animal because most laptops have a 5400 RPM hard drive, which is slow. They don't even put that in the desktop because it's Garbage. that slow. Anyways, you take out all the screws right here i'm just showing you what the quick release panel exposes uh, but unfortunately it does not expose what we need to get to which is the power jack the power connector well, of course it okay doesn't. so by the way you saw me put my finger on that fan on the fan blades yeah if you take a vacuum cleaner okay with the hose attachment put your finger there on the fan blades and just vacuum that out that's how you reduce the dust bunnies in your cooling system for your laptop and it will also reduce your temperatures a lot of people with well, gaming laptops are complaining that you know the laptop is overheating their temperatures too high um, you know their laptop is freezing take off that quick release panel clean out all the dust bunnies you can sometimes you could even remove that fan and really get at that but um, most of the time you can just stick your finger on the fan blade Take your vacuum cleaner, vacuum all the dust bunnies out, and guess what? Your laptop will run a lot cooler. All right, next. Um, on my particular laptop, I had to remove my hard drives just to get access to additional screws because later I'm going to flip over the laptop, take off that whole keyboard area, and just remove most of the housing so I could get to the power jack. All right, so... All my screws have been taken out already. I'm not going to bore you by showing the video of how I unscrew a screw. I mean, I think you know how to do it. Flip your laptop over, all right? Mine, I already took mine apart like a million times, so I know where I could start prying it up to, you know, show all the guts of the laptop. So that's what I'm doing right here. Let me see them damn guts. I'm prying everything up. Everything's coming loose. And right here, I'm removing that top cover which is actually right next to the power connector and obviously it's the power connector that causes most of the problems hey you notice this right here that right there this is a ribbon connector and it's very common on laptops and there's like a little clasp that you have to loosen to slide out the ribbon connector and you know to put it back in you just slide it in okay you make sure that it's even usually there's like a red line printed across the cable and you slide it in, you push down to close the clasp shut, and that's how you reinstall it, which is obviously what you're gonna be doing when you start putting your laptop back together, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Look at this right here. I'm gonna take the cover off, and you know, then I'm gonna have to unscrew the cover that houses the power jack. Surprise, surprise. All right, so here's a little cover we're speaking about. 
I already removed the screw from the back, so it just slides right out. Ooh and once you remove that, you know, your next mission is going to be to locate the loose wire, which is most likely what the problem is, unless your actual power jack is broken, which you could, you're going to have to go buy a power jack. Maybe you could get some kind of universal one at Radio Shack. Um, or you could just buy them online, your exact um, power jack for your particular laptop. You could maybe search by model number or name or your laptop model number. Anyways, let me give you a closer look of what I had to do, which is, it was kind of involved, but it's not hard. It just takes a little bit of time. All right, so now you are staring at the power jack connected to a little board, and you probably see those screws. So guess what? You got to remove those screws now. Um, you're basically going to keep unbolting until you could actually see all the wires connected to this thing. Oh. And once you see that, you'll probably find a little surprise. What is the surprise going to be? Oh, you see in the bit. Surprise number one, I couldn't budge these screws at all. So I actually grabbed the pliers that were in my little computer toolkit and, you know, used it to create more leverage to get these things busted loose. And guess what? It did work. All right. Surprise number two, the aha moment. And you're not watching Oprah. Here is the wire that came loose. It's black. Maybe I guess it's the Damn ground it. wire. It somehow desoldered itself or just broke off. I don't know. You know what? I actually do know because you know what I did? Uh, I was moving the laptop up. I didn't unplug the cord and the cord got yanked and I kind <laughs> of, um, it kind of tipped the laptop in a certain direction. I bumped it against something and I guess since that time it has not been working properly and my wife's been complaining my first instinct was to blame it on the cat she didn't believe me i had no choice so i had to fix this thing so here i am fixing the laptop Damn. making a video at the same time so you could learn something uh, this is my first time ever doing this but basically i had to strip the sheeting on that black wire then i had to solder that wire back on and uh, you know what think? that was pretty much all it took to fix this laptop so um let me just show you a little test i ran so here's the test i grabbed the power cable I plugged it in, it seems to be working. So then all I had to do is put everything together at super speed. I'm putting in the hard drives, but you know, they just slide in, they have quick connectors. If it's just one thing that you remember Damn. from watching this video, make sure you remember to get yourself an SSD for your laptop because it's gonna make your laptop super fast. And I actually hope you actually do remember how to fix your power jack because it is pretty simple. Hey, don't forget to subscribe Anyways, now. Let me plug my laptop up again. Once everything is connected, let me turn it on, prove to you everything is working. And that's the end of this video. You know, it took a lot of time to uh, make this video for you guys. I have over an hour of footage condensed into, a, you know, less than 10 minutes of video. So it took a lot of work. And if you appreciate that, if you learned something, go ahead and click the like button. The like button actually does help me a lot. I would actually really appreciate it if you could click the like button on all my videos and also become a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber yet, become a subscriber. But seriously, thanks for stopping by watching this video. Make sure you share the heck out of this video. Share the heck out of this video. Share this video. You know it's useful. It will fix your laptop, okay? If this video could fix your laptop for you, I mean, it would. But it can't. You have to actually follow my instructions. So watch the video and you fix your own laptop, all right, with my instructions. And guess what? I'm going to help you do other stuff. You don't even know what that stuff is yet, but I'm going to help you anyway. How am I going to help you? I said to become a subscriber and you'll find out soon. Peace. One, bitch, I bet it will. Do the numbers, I said it will. I played the game and I'm still the same. And I never changed just to get a deal, but I'm balling. I came from nothing to something like it's nothing. Yeah, you know I done it. That is no discussion, bitch. I'm balling. I made a promise to my mama.